up everybody and welcome back to a beer a day with TK it's the 6th of December and as we're working our way through the Brewers advent calendar from Calia we'll see what's behind door number six door six Hearn Brow Zwickle Keller beer Let's see if we have anything else on here well Looks like it says unfilter it, so I assume that's unfiltered in German, and not much more. Now, I actually have a Hernbrau glass. Probably heard me mention this multiple times. I bought four glasses from Coleman's Military Surplus. They have a ton of these old German beer glasses. So I think I got a Hocker Shore one, a Paul Lanner one, this, and I forget what the other one is, but it's absolutely beautiful with rifling inside some really super cool glasses. So this will work out. Quite nicely. Um, again, this is day six, the Hernbrow Zwickle, and this is a Keller beer. So Keller beers are, are kind of, I guess, young Hellas beers. Should be a little hoppier than the others, and if that's if it's true to the style. So let's see what happens with this one. Again, if you want to check out some of the other offerings from them, I know uh, Mallory and Chu are working their way through the Twelve Beers of Christmas box, and my man over to Greg at, at Bullman's Beer Reviews is doing the Euro version of this, which is bottles and a couple of beers that are the same, but some of them are different. So if you want to check out the other varieties, go give those guys a watch. Okay. Pouring quite nice. I think this is a 16.9 a ounce can, 500 milliliters. Pours quite nicely into this glass. See, you got the little mark for the 0.5 half liter here. Looks quite nice in this glass, too. As far as the color, um, we're going back to the yellow beers after our dark one yesterday. But this has a little bit more of an amber color to it. This is probably like a maybe like a, a, a pale gold, maybe a five or a six. I'd probably go with a with a six. Fair amount of, of carbonation. I see a lot of bubbles going crazy in there. And this one's a, a bit cloudy. I can't really see through this. So that's kind of, of what I'd expect from the style. A little cloudier than the others. Head, two and a half fingers, nice white, pillowy white head. That looks pretty nice. Let's give it a sniff. Now this is a more pronounced hoppier nose right off the bat, which is, you kind of expect that from one of these, one of these beers, and it, I guess it's <laughs> owning up to style in that regard. So what do you pick up? Hoppier nose and a bit of malt, light malt, not a whole lot more. I mean, the hops is kind of coming through a bit more. Yeah, it smells decent. And again, I don't mind a nice Hellas, but sometimes a little more punch isn't too bad. So this one here, 5.1% ABV, 22 IBUs. I think the other ones are around 9 and 14, so this one's a, it's up a little bit more in the IBUs. Ratings-wise, 3.5 on Untap, Beer Advocate, 3.54. Again, I think the only people reviewing this on Beer Advocate were the people that were reviewing this box. But I do remember, when you looked at the picture on it, the picture was different. It was a bottle, so I guess the artwork or whatever is a bit different on the bottle. Let's give it a shot. Prost. First thing you notice, the body on this, this is super light. Um, I don't say it's watery, but it is very light. I think you could probably drink about a thousand of these. Pick up a little bit of malt. Not a whole lot, actually. Quite light malt. Um, I was expecting a little more hops because you do pick it up a little bit on the nose, like a, a you know it's a bit more pronounced on the nose. Um, it's there, but you don't really taste it. It's not very strong. Um, the other thing, a lot of times with these, you get like a little bit of a green apple taste. I'm trying to find it, not really picking it up. Um, I don't know. This one here. Not a heck of a lot going on with it. Um, I wouldn't say that it's bad. I mean, this is definitely a crushable light beer. Like I said, you could probably drink quite a few of these and, you know, it wouldn't affect, 5.1% well, alcohol might affect you, but it, the, none of the flavors would get overwhelming. You don't really pick up a ton of sweetness, not particularly hoppy. Um, maybe light bready malt, light hops. It, it almost tastes like you took <laughs> a normal... Um, Keller beer and maybe added a, a, a bit bit of something else. It doesn't have much flavor. It's almost macro-esque. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's just not particularly good. Um, I would say, if, what are we up to, day six? Of the six, this is probably my least favorite. I think yesterday, what was it yesterday's one, the darker one? 
the, the Bach was probably my favorite so far. Um, again, nothing wrong with this. If someone gave it to you, you wouldn't spit it out and say, oh my God, this is terrible. Um, but I don't think it's particularly memorable either. So for me, this would be the first one from the box to get a, eh, it's okay. I would drink another one if someone gave me one, but I probably would not go out of my way to buy this again. So, you know, again, it's not exactly a failure, but it's probably the, the least memorable beer of the box so far. So it is what it is. Hopefully you liked the review. If you do, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Do you have the advent calendar? I know some of the, the people have been commenting, hey, did you try this one? What did you think of it? To me, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of there. It's nothing too special. Hey, until next time, cheers.